great heat output for the money. My garage faces north and is only insulated inside wall slash house duplex. Western Illinois gets cold. I have installed this unit with Romex wiring. 6 GA. 60 amp dual breaker. 2 hot red slash black 1 ground slash green. Very simple and not as heavy as I thought. I was able to install this myself slash alone well the latter had a hand in this roll low. The joist bolts that come with this unit are a joke my ceiling's drywall is as thick as the bolts provided so I had to buy a longer 3 inch from Home Depot. The mounting bracket is a joke. It should be flat. It has edges that are rounded but it does bite into the drywall. I used longer joist bolts and had to install 4x4s on each side of the actual joist I had to drill new holes in the mount because the holes are too far away from the center one. I had to do some fab work to get everything exactly the way I wanted it. Mounted ceiling, Romex through the wall down to my basement and wire up the breaker yes a 60 AMP dual breaker. Don't cheap out. Heater $250, Ruxix 40 feet $120, 60 amp dual breaker $40 so all in all almost $400 dollars in my time. Tested the heater and holy yes. It pumps out heat fast, 600 square feet garage I was sweating low. Lowest setting 68 degrees. That's fine with me when it will be zero soon couple months seasons changing. I'm not an electrician or professional but I did my research and everything works flawlessly. Hope the info and pictures help you decide what's best for you and your family slash garage. Happy heating. Pros, this unit heats my garage up from 20 to 60 degrees in a matter of 20 minutes. I have a two and a half car garage and a lot of space to heat. It kicks out the heat as soon as it's turned on. I keep the unit set at 30 degrees so when it gets down below zero here the garage is bearable for the kids and wife in the mornings. It doesn't come on that often and I have not seen a huge difference in the cost of my electric bill, only about $30 per month but worth every penny, cons, I had to have an electrician install the electricity for the unit and you'll need to make sure your electrical box has the available openings for this too. Well I'll start off to say in San Diego you don't need this very often however we do get chilly in the mornings in winter. But make sure you switch the sensors on the circuit board otherwise it's going to count down from 99 after it reaches the room temperature and it takes way too long to kick back on thanks guys for the help on this one. Awesome garage heater basement wherever it really warms up the space. And is nice and quiet and has a remote grate for the man cave. Just installed this in my two car garage. SW Montana. The garage is insulated with new garage door also. I am glad I purchased the 10, 000 watt heater. I think I would be disappointed with the smaller. Works great, the remote is a neat tool. Pretty simple to install. Get the larger heater. Installed in a 24x24. Insulated shop. It's not cold now but the unit seems to put out a lot of heat. There was problems at first. A call to customer service, she was great, and the problem was fixed. The thermostat sensor doesn't read the room temperature accurately but I just set it according and it cycles fine. Customer service was excellent. She not only answered my email quickly but sent pictures as well. Click link in description for more reviews.